The Walking Dead Survivors is a comic based game, meaning it comes from the comics called The Walking Dead, uh, which is also what uh, The Walking Dead show is based on. So if you're coming, uh, if you know The Walking Dead from the show, you will see a lot of similar uh, characters, a lot of similar like storylines, but it's actually from the comics. And in this video, we will show you exactly what the gameplay looks like. So if you plan to download this game, make sure to subscribe because I have tutorials on my channel that you will use and uh, basically you will need my channel for this. So this video, let's sh let's show you what this is. What this is. This is the what it looks like. This is your base. I'm right now playing for like maybe two months, three months on this one. So this is what it looks like. You have a base, you have a town hall, you have uh, resource buildings, you have builders, which there are plenty of ways to get them, and you also have survivors. You get survivors from something, which is like radio stations. We will go, we will go through survivors later. And what the game looks like, the whole point of the game is there is a map which changes every 30 to 60 days, and here you can see that on this map you have other players from your clan, other clans that are like communities and stuff and you can see that there is also territory so you have a territory and all of the people will start like from the outer part of the territory you can see there is like a bunch of colors, those are the other clans and they're all trying to get to the center and once we are in the center you're trying to get to the middle of the map in this uh, season so the game every 30 to 60 days there is a new season when there is a new season you change the map and there are other clans that you haven't seen before uh, you meet with so after all those seasons you will see that there is in the middle of the map there is a new like top place which brings great rewards and great buffs and all the clans are competing to be the best in it and how is this actually related to the walking dead is because Imagine, if you're coming from the show, you will understand this the best. Imagine uh, Rick's group and Negan's group, Alpha's group and maybe the governor's group. And there is some high value place. Imagine that Alexandria or maybe Sanctuary was the most high value place. They all want to keep control of it, so they're going towards it. So that's kind of what it is like. In the season 1, once you start playing the game, you will be competing for the Sanctuary. So if you're a Negan fan, you will enjoy that time. You will be competing for the Sanctuary. Your clans will be complete competing. And you can even be the Negan. You can be the top one guy in the whole place, running the whole place. and Which is called Region Chief in this game. Uh, but as a... Region chief, you're basically Negan. You're in the charge. You have authorities that other people don't have. So that is kind of what this is. Now, let's go through some other details that you will come across. For example, let's go to the survivor. So this is the place where a lot of people uh, might have a question is whether the players or the characters, whether I can have my favorite walking that character. So we have Abraham, which kind of looks very, very similar as in the show. We have Holly, I don't think we met her in the show. We have Rosita, almost looking the same as in the show. You have Negan, this is the big guy. This is the Negan, looks almost exactly, completely exactly as in the comics. So you have all these characters based from comics, almost looking for the same. So if you see, and we're, by the way, this is Rick Grimes, you can see he is missing the right hand. In the show, they recently spoilers alert. If you don't, if you didn't watch the brand new show of The Walking Dead, skip for ten seconds. This is uh, this is Rick. He cut off his right hand, and in the show, he cut off his left hand. There are some minor similarities. We have Shane, Jared, Samantha. So there is combat survivors, basically the ones you use for fighting. There are development survivors, which are used to improve your resources, and overall like gameplay now there are also some mini games that you might be interested in which are in the battles section there is duels you can compete who has the best uh formations for example i have used mine daily ones but for example you can set up okay we'll check the in the defense section you will see that i have 
my troops, my people, my survivors who fight for me. And you can see that I can level them up, put some equipment on stuff, level up their stars. And here in the battle section, the duel section, I'm competing if my uh, lineup is stronger than the other ones. There is also set Settlement Siege. Settlement Siege is basically, so we are here, we are in our map. And the zombies start approaching from all the different sides here where I'm touching. And you must defend your city by putting the survivors on these towers. There is also a third game which is called Raid Runners. I can show you in a short what it looks like. So we have our survivors. We pick who we want and then we go into the fight. My formation is pretty weak for this right now so we will lose. But we are here. We can control one guy who is leading all the other guys. And you're trying to defeat these people that are trying to catch you the zombies you're running around and the beginning you will even have you even you will even have a job to go to like get some resources chop some trees off to complete the level so this is what it looks like you're fighting against the zombies you're trying to survive and uh yeah that's pretty much one of the mini games that you might find the joint to play okay we will stop this now and we'll go back into the uh tutorial or just regular video after some time there will be some clan events which i find much more complicated and difficult and they require uh teaming like teammates so there is like uh, survivors at war there is restricted zone there is also till the better end and a couple more events so this is we can s okay this is the season two so in the season two map you can see that there is a lot of locations you can occupy on the map and all the people are trying to get to those places and that's pretty much it from the battle section you can see that there are a few more events lines we cross to the better end there are some other events now there is also events section uh, what you can do in the free time is complete the events there is a whole bunch of them all different types of them so some of them are based on uh, either purchasing the pack and now yeah the most of the biggest question is is this the pay to win game or not i'm gonna say no because those packs that you can get will make you the strongest but you can still get easily defeated only if you came across two or three people who don't like you so it's not that you can you can be the god out of spending the money in the game so if you're scared of pay to win players don't worry you have plenty of options against them. So there's like the value doubler, you can basically buy the packs. You have the purchase club. So yeah, this is the kind of, we can say the purchasing stuff. Just some additional rewards for those who support the developers. There is the stronger survivor, which is basically you have tasks every day and must com you must complete them uh, in order to get some rewards. There is a ruby rush, you can spend the rubies that you get and rubies are easy to get, so don't worry, this is this what you see is spent 14,000 is not as hard as you think it is if you come from other games because in other games as I saw the getting any gems, rubies and such stuff is much hard. Survival challenge is the, we can say it, the daily thing. Every day there is a survival, ch survival challenge and you can see that during the day there is like six of them uh, and you will complete all different types of challenges. You can build research kill the walkers you can train your animals you can use the radios there are different ways to get the rewards and it resets every four hours so basically you're completing that milestone we can say to get a reward and uh yeah it's one of the best ways to grow your power is by completing the survival challenge this is the most popular event of them all there is perseverance pays off which is Basically, complete task to earn the stars and the earning the stars will give you these unique rewards which you use on your survivor. Now, before we continue to that, this is your, we can say, survivor. And he has specific equipment and those materials you use to equip him. And then your survivor can have the talents you to sign him up to, which are here. And you use the points once you upgrade, and once you upgrade him using the experience you see here he will gain the points and you can upgrade the talent you want so yeah it's bringing some difference in the ways you can grow your power there is the bazaar so you can buy the stuff on let's say black market it switches over the time now other event there is is eugene and abandoned basically you defeat 
the custom enemies and you get the points and it's the best bullet source so there's also tides of the dead the bunch of walkers walker herds are attacking your city it lasts for like half an hour let's say and you must defend and there is like you can see there is like bunch of the events this is just one part of them so you will have a lot of things to do now let's see if there is anything else we haven't covered about the clans you have similar to the other games you have the clan research you can upgrade the benefits of your clan you have tails which is something that i haven't ever seen in other games uh, it's based on completing the tasks uh, as a clan on a let's say custom location like prison and there you are basically earning high rewards for com completing the tasks higher the level for example we are now on the difficult higher the level better the, the rewards overall there is also rallies you can defeat the governor you can uh, defeat negan so there is like those things okay here we have the, like the clan points we have just opened a clan chest and that's pretty much it you can set your own name my name is negan one only because in season two the new guy arrived that has the name negan so if you want to be your favorite character just make sure to be the strongest guy in the whole place and you can keep the name without any number the guy basically took my name away because i was negan now i'm negan one at least the number one so yeah you have also the lead basically it's you give the points and you get some better like uh benefits so that's it that's like the game overall what you can to do and uh yeah that's it download the game subscribe to this channel and check the playlist called walking dead survivors and then we can start working on your place and grow up together so leave a comment if you're new here because of that and i'll see you in the next video goodbye